Hello, Landisville Intermediate Center parents. My name is Ian Decker. I'm the principal here at LIC, and I want to welcome you to our back to school night. You may be watching this a little bit beforehand because this is a pre recorded video, but what we'll do is I'll do a brief little introduction here. Our PTO officers will have an opportunity to introduce themselves in this video and give a quick presentation. And then I'll share some information about back to school here in the start of our school year. I want to thank you for your time and your patience as we've gone through this. Um, it's been a great start to the year. It was rather difficult, but I appreciate, again, your patience and your kindness as we've started. Um, after my presentation here later tonight, uh, from our 6 to 7.30 time, you'll have an opportunity to jump into your homeroom teachers' meetings where they're going to present the information about how the school year will be run from their classroom, uh, from their side of things, so you have a better understanding and we can communicate the expectations for how the year will be. Also, um, well, Mrs. Casabo has in your child Schoology counselors course, if you go to the Schoology side on your child side into the counselors course, you'll be able to see different specialists, whether that be um, the music teacher or the reading support or learning support. Um, the counselor myself will all have Google Meet links there if you needed to check in and speak to us about anything. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my presentation here. It's a short one to start. Welcome back. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic and amazing that we are back, and it's been a monumental um, effort from everybody, parents, uh, faculty, teachers, staff, um, our, but transportation side of things, it's been pretty incredible. But we're back, and it's been a wonderful five or six days we've already had. Our PTO officers, you can see the names up there, and I'm going to go ahead and allow them to introduce themselves through some of these videos. I'll see you right after this. Hello everyone, my name is Chris Wolfolk. My son Caden is in third grade in Mrs. Brenner's class this year. This is my second year as the PTO president for LPC and LIC. As the PTO president, my primary job is to oversee the operations of the PTO, bring motions to the board for approval for purchases such as field trips and assemblies and other items the kids and families need for our support throughout the school year. I also attend our district's back meetings, keeping our board informed so we can better work within the district, bringing the best to our kids and families in the Landisville area. With the cancellation of FunFest, which I ran two years ago, it put a hurt on the PTL. We still remain financially strong, but we need your support. This year, it's being ran by Matt Haynes, our vice president. It is our biggest fundraiser of the entire year and pays for a lot of assemblies field trips, and items that the kids need throughout the year. Our board has been working hard, changing our bylaws this year, allowing our executive committee to stay on board for an additional year to keep the PTO board running smoothly and bringing the best that we can, supporting our kids and families in Landisville. I encourage you to donate your time and support our fundraisers as we move forward through the school year. And I hope everyone stays safe and has a great 2020 school year. Matt Haynes, I'm the PTO Vice President. My son Evan is in 8th grade at Landisville Middle School, and my son Seth is right here at LPC in 2nd grade. My primary job this year is to facilitate the smooth operation of the Fun Festival, which unfortunately never got to happen this past year. Signing some contracts and doing some paperwork, that's simple, but it takes a small village for making this all happen. So I'm here to ask for your help to volunteer and come out and, and help me make this fun festival happen. My information, you can get that right at the office. My email, send me an email, give me a phone call. I would love to have your help. The festival has been the biggest fundraiser each year, and we missed this past year. And in just a few minutes, you're going to hear from our treasurer, Brian Mullen, to say that we did not make what was expected due to the pandemic. Fundraising stopped in mid March for us. We're looking for your feedback from the community here on the thoughts about fundraising, not given the current circumstances. We want to partner with the community and help Lamesville and Hemfield economy by getting out and partnering together. So again, I'm looking for your help right here for LIC and LPC. Let's make this happen, people. I need your help. Thanks. Hi, I'm Brian Mullen. I'll be serving as the treasurer for the 2020-2021 school year. I am a manager, a tax manager at Penske Truck Leasing. My daughters are in fifth and third grades at LIC and LPC. 
and my wife Kate. She's a director of development and community relations at Aaron's Acres. My primary role as treasurer is to act as a controller of the financial operations of our PTO. Our goal typically is to have a balanced budget where the PTO's financial support of our teachers and students does not exceed our fundraising. However, because of the pandemic and everything going on in the spring, uh, as you heard earlier, we lost our largest fundraiser, uh, the Fun Fest. And so that's the bad news, and that's our largest fundraiser. The good news is, is because of the financial support of our community and the planning of our prior boards, we established a very significant, what you would call a rainy day fund. And that's actually probably a literal reference because if we had rain on the day of our festival, we would have a lot of financial difficulties with that. Because of that rainy day fund, we have adequate funding to continue to support the teachers and students. Our fundraising supports additional classroom supplies, equipment, art shows, field days, and other expenses not covered by the district budget for both schools. Our PTO is a bit unusual as compared to the other PTOs within the elementary schools in Hempfield. Our PTO covers two elementary schools, LPC and LIC, which makes our budget the largest amongst all the elementary schools. It also makes our need for fundraising the largest amongst all the elementary school PTOs. So when you look at our numbers, they'll seem, if you were at another school or you have family and friends that are at another elementary school within Hempfield, the numbers will seem a little larger. This year's budget is projected to utilize more of those reserve funds, um, as we are going to be very challenged to fundraise in this way that we're normally fundraising in the current environment. At this time, I wanted to make one other uh, plea out to the group. Um, recruitment. Uh, I'm currently serving in my second, I, last year would have been uh, my uh, mentoring year where I would have served with a tre not the past treasurer. This year, I will what we call a solo year as treasurer. I'll be the treasurer on my own. And next year, we'll be looking to recruit another person that will then take over and uh, be the treasurer going forward. So if you have a financial background and are comfortable with, uh, we utilize QuickBooks and uh, different technologies, it's mostly paperless. If you're comfortable with that and you want to volunteer to help your uh, parent-teacher organization and the two schools, students and teachers, uh, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is available on the PTO website on the school's page, uh, or reach out to the school's principals, Ron, or Mr. Swatner, or Mr. Decker, uh, and they will get you information about potentially uh, serving in a role on our PTO. Finally, I would like to mention that our ability to fund and support the programs that the PTO supports would not be possible without the efforts of, we have a Ways and Means Committee, and the support of everyone watching on this video. So uh, from the treasurer position, I thank you. Uh, the fact that we have support within our community makes it easier for us to make decisions about funding our PTO. So thank you. And I believe you'll be hearing some more from our board after me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Karen Yutz. I have a daughter, Sunshine, at sixth grade at LIC, and a son, Linus, in third grade at LPC. Hi, my name is Jessica Gast. I have one daughter, Alyssa, who's in sixth grade at LIC. We are the Ways and Means co-chairs and in charge of fundraising for the PTO. We want to thank all the Landisville families. In the past years, with your help, we have held many successful events, including the Fit Walk, monthly dine-out nights, spirit wear sales, family fun night, Giant, Stalfers, and BJ's rewards, and of course, the Grocery Talk candy sale. Thank you to everyone who helped make these fundraisers happen. This year may look different, but we are working to organize fundraisers for our Landisville kids wherever they are learning and our schools. Our Spirit Wear store is open now and we'll be sending out info soon for dine outs and other events. 
Hi, my name is Wendy Martin. I'm the PTO secretary. I have a son named Jake who's at LIC in the fourth grade. I have a daughter named Madison who's five years old and attending kindergarten. In addition to taking minutes for posting, the secretarial role also includes responsibility for facilitating the holiday shop. The holiday shop will run in December and gives the kids a chance to shop for their family and friends at reasonable cost as long as we are permitted to do so and the pandemic looks a little different come winter. The holiday shop is not really a fundraiser as much as an opportunity to partner with kids to purchase things for their families. As long as the holiday shop is continuing, I will be looking for volunteers and definitely needing a co-coordinator to help me run things smoothly. With that, I turn it over to you, Mr. Swatner. Hello LIC families, my name is Mindy Reese and I am the LIC PEP coordinator. As the PEP coordinator, it's my responsibility to organize and oversee all of the classroom PEPs. Some of you may be wondering what a PEP is. PEP stands for Parent as Educational Partners. And as the classroom PEP, you would be responsible for helping the PTO organize different functions throughout the year, including fundraisers and classroom celebrations. If you'd like to become a pet, please make sure to have your paperwork back to the school by September 2nd. Look forward to seeing all of you this year and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now. Hello, my name is Jacob Molusky and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Landisville Intermediate Center and I will be the teacher PTO rep for our building. First wanted to say thank you to all the parents and community members for their support as we transition back to school. It's wonderful getting to see the kids again. We can tell that they're all very excited to be back, to see their teachers, to see their friends. And on behalf of all the teachers here at LIC, we just want to say a big thank you for your continued support as we transition through this unique um, and interesting school year that we have upon us. I'm going to throw things over to Wendy Martin, who is going to be our PTO secretary. Thank you, PTO, for all the information you shared with us, plus giving your time and effort. I know it was difficult over the spring, uh, and I'm excited that we have a great group of people for the 2020-2021 school year. So I always talk about our vision and mission, uh, the growth, achievement, and success of our students here at LIC. That is very important, but the mission that I'm really going to focus on here is really that safe environment. For these first two cycles and even into well into September, we're going to make sure our students have a really clear understanding of what it's like to be safe in these situations here, but also to feel welcome and loved here at LIC in their classrooms. Students will stay in their classrooms for all of the uh, academic areas except for special education, special ed, those types of things, reading support. Um, but it's really important that they have that great sense of feeling. None of the pictures I'm sharing with you are of current pictures of this year because of the mask mandates. But um, if we can still continue to screen our students at home so they're safe, also emphasize that they should be watching their distance, wearing their mask, and washing their hands, I know that we're going to continue to have a great year. It's been a great first six days so far. We still have our positive support, behavior support plan where we're teaching students to be respectful, responsible, ready, and safe, we're being very explicit in our instruction on how that should look, what it should sound like. Um, if you can emphasize these words at home as well, too, it goes a long way into the understanding for our students, uh, sharing some of those ideas. We have lessons about it. We still have our team ticket rewards. Uh, we're still thinking about uh, the best and safest way to reward our students for that. The things we had in the past probably aren't going to work as well, but Mrs. Cassaba, our school counselor that's in this picture, is working with a group of teachers as well to think about some ways to make sure that we can still reward our students for doing a great job with their behavior. We also give out all-star effort awards for our students that go above and beyond in their effort. We want our students at this age not to think, well, I'm not good at math or I'm not that great at uh, drawing uh, or I can't really, I'm not really good at singing or playing a musical instrument. We want to emphasize to them that their effort is the most important thing. So this is what we're trying to teach them. And anytime students do a great job with that, we give out all-star awards for that. Again, the big thing here when you do meet with the fam with the, uh, your uh, teachers here tonight, whether you go into the homeroom teachers or you also have an opportunity to see some of our specialists, is that it is a partnership with our parents, our teachers, our students, our community, and that's what makes LIC so special. Uh, it's amazing to see um, the friendliness and the warmth and love that we see, I usually see on these back to school nights when people come in. I'm going to miss that tonight, but uh, I know that we still have a fantastic community, a fantastic set of parents. Um, and it's really that important understanding that, you know, as a parent, you are the first and longest teacher for that child. Um, and that as teachers here, we want to be a partnership with the academic, the social, the emotional, 
the behavioral side of things. Um, you know, if there's issues that are going on, we don't just expect the parents to handle it, nor do we want, um, if there's issues going on academically, just to be a, well, the teacher should be handling that. That really should be a partnership between all of us uh, during the school, in the summer, uh, at home, all those times. So we want to make sure that's important. And to do that, we really focus on communication. Teachers will be emailing often, but a great way to stay connected with what's going on in the building here is to do our LIC email blast um, to subscribe to that. We also have a Facebook page. Our PTO has a Facebook page. Um, make sure that you know you, you stay connected with those. Really bring this positive energy and that support and that love here to LIC. If there is an issue that happens throughout the year, um, usually when that does happen, it's just a matter of a miscommunication or uh, just a misunderstanding. But if there is concern, please go to the classroom teacher. If it's on the bus, go to the school bus driver about it. Um, and then if it can't really be resolved and we're still not having an understanding, then coming to me as the principal is usually our best bet so we can handle those situations. But I did want to share this because this is a slide that our school district does put out there. Again, thank you for being an amazing set of parents and guardians. You're watching this video. It took a lot of time to watch it. That's the first great step as well. Make sure you uh, do a good job in your Google Meet, following up with the homeroom teacher day, jump into a few special area teachers if you needed to talk to them. And there's always, you can always reach out to me if you need anything. Thank you. Have a wonderful night.